Hi guys, this is the Dev Lounge and welcome to another Xcode 4.5 tutorial. Now in this tutorial we're going to be looking at the UI alert view and we're going to be simply having a text field where we can enter some text, a button to display the alert view and the contents of that alert view will be whatever we enter in the text box. And we'll also look at quickly hiding the keyboard when we press the button or when we press the return key. So let's get started and open up Xcode, create a new project, single view application. I'm going to call it alert view uh, for iPhone, storyboards and ARC on. Next, choose somewhere to save it. And then we're going to go straight into the storyboard. And I'm just going to mock up a little UI. So we're going to need a label, a button, and a text field. So give me a second while I make this look a little bit neater. And then the text field somewhere in the middle. Uh, if we go to the attributes inspector, align the text in the center, and then enter alert message. Oh. And we're going to call this show alert. So now if we go to our assistant editor, and up here next to the UI view controller super class, we're going to do an angle brackets UI alert view delegate, comma UI text field delegate, and close those angle brackets. We're also going to control drag from our text field, and we're going to give it a name of alert view text field. Connect, leave it at weak. And then if we save all that, and then if we keep our assistant editor open, if you have the enough screen space, and go into our .m file. Sorry, we need to go back to the storyboard here. And we need to control drag from our show alert button into the view controller .m. And we're going to call this show alert. Uh, we don't need sender at all. Space that out. And now in our show alert method, we're going to create a UI alert view. Then we're going to show the alert. So if we do UI alert view star alert equals two square brackets, UI alert view alloc close square bracket in it with title and we're just going to give it a title of iOS alert view. The message is going to come straight from our alert view text field so self dot alert view text field dot text. The delegate is our self. We have a cancel button and we're just going to have OK and the other button is just going to leave it nil for now. And then show alert is simply, we use the name that we gave our alert here, so alert, and then show. And we're also going to quickly handle the keyboard so we can return it uh, or hide it if you like. And then so in parentheses, bool, text field should return. And we're going to do an if statement if text field is equal to our text field. We're going to do text field resign first responder, which will hide the keyboard, and we're going to return no if it was any other text field. And then also we're going to hide the keyboard when we click our show alert. So simply self dot alert text field resign first responder. So if we go ahead and run at, wait, first off, before we do that, we actually need to go back to the storyboard, click on 
our text field, go to the identity inspector, and you see where it has outlets and delegate. We need to click and drag from this empty circle here down to the view controller to make sure that our text field has a delegate. Save that, run our application. I'm running on the iPhone 4 or 4S, the three and a half inch screen. So if we click in the, the text field and hit the return button, the keyboard will hide. If we type in a message, show alert, the keyboard hides and then displays our message in the alert view. Hit OK and it will close. So that's it for this tutorial. It's just a short tutorial showing you how to use the alert view and hiding the keyboard. So remember to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, give us a like on YouTube, leave any comments below and let me know if you need the code. I'll be happy to supply that. So until next time, thanks for watching.